Uh, Roy, I'll call you. Don't don't power up until I get there. I gotta go. Hook up two cables, then I'll call you. I'm ready. Don't power up. Yes, our copy is breaking you up. That's all. Hey, Roy, did you hear? Well, Judy, welcome home. Thank you. It's been a long time. How how long? Did you all actually meet? Did you? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. No. Actually, uh -huh. I think I've seen him before. Yes. Yeah, probably. You have. A few times. <laughs> okay. Judy, how long has it been since you've been back in Fort Worth? Well, you know, I, I, I slip into town every now and then because I have two sons that, that went to TCU, and of course, all of my family lives here. So I do slip in and out, but it's usually for just a day or two at a time, and I don't really have time to you know, to see the people that, that I have, you know, strong uh, friendships with and people that go way back, which has been wonderful about this trip because I've, I've gotten to see, like, people from way back in high school, you know, and it's been, it's been really fun to do that. Actually, I got a call last night from a friend of mine, and they're planning our 30th anniversary from high school and our, our, our reunion, and I just, I couldn't believe it. I, I just said, no, I haven't been out of school that long. <laughs> oh. Judy, bring us up to date mm -hmm. now. Uh, since the settlement, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you've been writing the book, I yes. know that, and we'll get to the book yes. in just a minute, but just bring us up to date on uh, where you are, where you've been, what you've been doing. Okay, well, you're right, it, uh, it's been um, two and a half years since Martina and I parted um, and during that two and a half years I've probably done more growing than I've ever done in my whole life and I think it's interesting because I think being a woman a lot of women can probably identify with that because what's happened is for the first time in my life with my children essentially grown I have a chance to look at me you know, we're all so busy as women, we go to college and then, you know, we get married and we take care of and we do and we raise children and take care of husbands and so on and so forth. And, and, and you sort of put your life, in a sense, on hold. And uh, so I think that uh, there are a lot of women that I'm finding can identify with, with the fact that I'm saying, hey, wait a minute, now I'm, I'm you know, 47 years old and, and I'm beginning to look at my life. That's what I've been doing, and it's it's been exciting in that sense. And I um, I uh, have a small farm outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. I breed some horses, and I am in the process with a, a group of people um, of uh, building an equestrian center uh, there that would be a public facility. And I'm I'm kind of uh, the fundraiser for that project. And we've, we've gotten the land donated and some of the buildings, and we have to refurbish those buildings. And that's what I'll do as soon as I get back there, is, is start working really hard toward that uh, enterprise. Does Rita Mae Brown live there as well? Yes, she does. Actually, Rita Mae and I share the farm. We, uh, we are partners in that. And I think the, uh, Rita Mae and I have been friends for 10 years. And actually, Martina introduced us. Um, but I, I think that sort of what brought us together is, is our passion for horses. And so I, what, what we like to do with our free time and our spare time is the same. Uh, other than that, we're, we're very in individual, uh, separate women. She, she's very powerful and has a career, uh, certainly a very noted uh, novelist. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of a businesswoman, kind of an entrepreneur. I've been that kind of all my life. So in, in that regard, we're, we're very separate. But, but I think as far as our goals, uh, other, uh, other than that, well, they're very much the same. Is she your lover? She, we are together, yes. And we do have a, a relationship that I think is, is very um, stable. And uh, it's different than any relationship I've ever had. And, and perhaps in a lot of ways, better. You know, it's not this just uh, sort of fairy tale kind of thing. It's very, it's very solid. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, Rita Mae is, is bold in her writing and she's bold in her relationship. She kind of puts it out there for you. You know exactly where you stand. That's a little bit different for me because I think that most of my life I, uh, I have been so busy doing and taking care of that, um, that I've, I've, I've failed to, to recognize perhaps when, when maybe I'm doing too much. 
you know, when I, when I kind of step over that boundary. And I talk a little bit about that in the book because I've had a chance to, to have a look at that because I, I thought it was very interesting when I did begin to write and look at it, is look at my relationship with my ex-husband and then look at my re relationship with Martina. And what I saw, interestingly enough, and I know this is hard for people to understand because when you've got a man and then you've got a woman, but, but what happened within them and the, I, I think the mistakes that I made were very much the same. I think I did a lot by, by stepping forward and saying, I need to change my life, I want to live with this woman. I think I was saying a lot at that point, but I didn't change all of the things that I think that were going on there that deep inside me that I, that I was really speaking to when I did that. I just sort of took all of those things and sort of carried it into the re next relationship, which in essence says something about it is that all relationships, whether they're man and woman or, or same-sex relationships, are basically and fundamentally the same. I think if you take one's sexual orientation out of that and really get down to the core of what's going on and how people relate, it is. We're all just people. And I think that uh, if I have a message at all, and, and, and being from a viewpoint where I can sort of see both sides of it, so to speak, I think that that's the message that I have to, to give. And I think it's an important one. And interestingly enough, I feel like it's a message that people, for whatever reason, at this day and time, are willing to, to listen to. Doesn't mean that they have to accept, they don't always even understand, but they're listening. And I think that says something. I think it's a, I think it's a move forward. I think people want, want to change, that we need to put the hate and the prejudice, prejudices aside and look at you know, what people can contribute to one another rather than what they take away from each other. Have you had any contact with Martina during this time? I haven't had contact with Martina in just over a year. That, that I hope one day will change. I would like very much to be her friend and I hope that will happen. I can't say whether or not it will. I know that, that um, Martina probably is still very angry about the fact that I filed a lawsuit um, but I, I think that that's more because I challenged her than anything else. Because Martina's used to getting challenged on the tennis court, you know, not in her personal life. And I think that's really what she's angry about, not so much at me personally. And, um, but, but I hope that will change. I, I think that, that probably there's some sort of legal things that are still going on for her, not with me necessarily, but in connection with, with the case itself. That, probably it's best that, that she not have contact with me right now until all that's cleared up. But I think once it is, maybe one day we can see that, that we are both valuable human beings and that uh, in our own ways, uh, hopefully give something back to all the people that have given to us all these years, you know, and been supportive. If Martina wanted to come back and establish a relationship like mm -hmm. the one you had before, would you take her back? You know, Bobby, you're so good <laughs> because you know you, you ask all the really, really good questions. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of interviews now, and and those people that really get the best out of you are the people that have a talent like you and an ability to bring bring those questions forward, because that is an interesting question. Of course, hypothetically, you know, that's 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 tough. I don't know. I, I do, the, what I what I do know because I don't think that Martina would ever come back. But if she were to come back, I mean, she was the great love of my life. If she were to come back, the, the, the thing that I can tell you is that it would be different. That it would be a different kind of relationship and we would meet on a different ground because I've changed a lot. And probably she has too. Uh, but I know now that, that I need to be my own person. And, and from that comes a sort of um, independence that, uh, that I've always needed. And, and thought I was seeking, even thought I was getting. But um, I, I, I didn't fully have the concept down. You know, I was still so much the good Southern woman that I continued to simply take care of, which in essence, I think means that I'm in control of. And uh, I think I'll change that. I don't think that caretaking is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. But you have to know how far you can take that. You know, I can't, I can't cross that line into someone else's territory. 
You know, if they ask me and invite me in, that's okay. But not just take it and do it, because I think I can do it better. But, you know, and, and to watch that. And, and so I'm very conscious of that now. It would make the relationship very different. And I, and I don't know, maybe, maybe that would work, maybe it wouldn't, but I hope so. Is there any possibility that this book will be made into a movie, either for motion picture mm. or for television? That's a good question. I, I don't know. I know that there have been there's been some interest in it. I personally have not talked to anyone myself. Uh, I've just gotten calls or messages through other people that that there is certainly some interest in it. Um, if there is, then then certainly I will talk to them, but, but my, uh, my focus is, is a little bit different than I think people want. Even, even my publisher wanted a different book. You know, they wanted a sort of kiss and tell all kind of thing. And I think that if, if uh, people know me or have read the book or have seen any interviews at all, they realize that's not what it is. Uh, and I know maybe I've disappointed some people out there, but on the other hand, you know, what I was really trying to, to put out there was a story about a family, about a woman's choices, and a family that didn't understand, that, uh, that were angry and hurt and sad, but that, that came together and loved each other and, and got help and survived it all and really learned about the, the people involved and realized that they could accept us for the people that we were. And we, we stood together, we came together, and we grew together. And I think that all of us, all of my family, and a lot of my friends, were all different and better people having gone through all of this today. And, and that's what the book is about. You know, it's a message to homosexuals and heterosexuals as well, is that I think it can work if we simply don't judge each other, but look at the good that can come from it. If you were to do it all over again, would you do any part of it differently? Well, I wouldn't want it to end. I, I, I never thought that my relationship would end. Uh, you know, maybe that's part of m my upbringing too, where you, you grow up with a sort of fairy tale that, that every, you know, that the, the, the commitment is there forever. And, and certainly it is, as far as I'm concerned, I feel like couples need to when things go wrong, they really work. I, I think that in my, my first marriage, um, that we worked for a long time, almost eight years, trying to, to, to make that marriage work. We couldn't, but, but at least when we got to the end of it, we knew we had given it everything we possibly could. And, and I think that, that both of us can say, my ex-husband and I both can say, that we stepped away from that relationship and we maintained a good friendship we, we have great communication lines, and what we did was say what we need to focus on is our boys and do what we feel is best for them. And, and maybe, uh, since Ed and I couldn't live together, maybe we're better parents for having been able to simply focus on raising two sons. And, uh, and, and I think we did that pretty well, you know? And, and I'm proud of that, I'm proud of my sons. And, uh, I think that, um, that it, it, it can be accomplished if you just try. Judy, is there anything else you'd like to have a chance to say? Yes, I, I, I would, uh, actually, and I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, I know that the um, Star-Telegram ra ran excerpts of the book in the paper. I wasn't here. I was told that they did that. And, and I think that they may have taken a lot of uh, negative or gotten a lot of negative response from that and I want to personally thank them for having the courage to do that to to put a story out there that uh, you know maybe is is not uh, a story that most people want to see in the newspaper and and I think that took some courage I think it takes some courage for you to sit here and, and talk to me about this and I I appreciate that and I think it's a step forward in in our own community and in our own society and I think it, it, it says a lot and and um, you know, I think that, that people overall just, like I said, I think they need to come together and realize that, that we're all just here to, to love and care and, and give to one another. And that's, that's what it's all about. Not hate, not prejudice, but love.
Okay. So you can get a two shot from here, and then we'll do, we'll make the reverse. the reverses all two shots, and I'll ask a couple of questions. Re-ask, I should say. You know, I never, ever met Martina. I never, You're ever kidding. did. I never, ever did. No. Oh, I wish you. Make a difference. Uh, and, and I know that, that, uh, that because of my story and because uh, a lot of people can identify with me on one side of the fence and then on the other, yeah. maybe I have, maybe out of identity with the, with the sort of uh, restrictions that I feel, especially Southern women mm -hmm. feel within their relationships with men. And, and it's not that the man wants to put it out for somebody. We're taught that from the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, from the day we're born, <laughs> almost, you know, that, uh, um, you know, this is the head of the house and so on and so forth. And, and so we, we struggle with having our own power. I mean, you know, there are women like you that are going to take it from the beginning and go out there and you don't really feel that sort of, I am right. All right. Whenever you're ready, Roy. Ready, fire, aim. <laughs> okay. If Martina wanted to come back and have the same relationship that you had before, would you take her? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that, that of course, the, the key word there is same. It, it wouldn't be the same uh, if, if Martina were to come back. I think that uh, I'm a very different person than I was before. And I've had uh, almost two and a half years now to really have the chance to look at my life, examine it, and, and see exactly what I was saying when I made that choice to go with Martina the, in, the first time, and, and what that says about my life, and, and the fact that I, I just simply carried a lot of things over into that relationship from my first relationship and didn't really change a lot of things. I just got busy still taking care of. That's fine, all right. Still on a tube. Okay, yes, on a tube, okay. Has there been any talk about your book being made into a movie? I think there's been some talk about it. There's been nothing directly to me. Uh, I've, I've gotten messages to the effect that, that uh, people are interested in it. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Uh, if it does happen, uh, the thing that I would be mostly concerned about is that they would be willing to, to deal with real issues and certainly not sensationalize the fact that there was a relationship with a very famous and powerful woman. Uh, although she was that, I can't change that at all. And I wouldn't want to. Uh, that's, that's who Martina is, and that's the person that I was with. But, but uh, you know, if, 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 if they could deal with it, in a, in a timely fashion so that uh, we could talk about things and changes that are going on in our society today, then, then I would be very interested in that. Okay. All right, Roy, you think we've got it covered? <laughs>